Dan Andrews, ladies and gentlemen, what the hell is going on with him? At the moment, we've got all these problems with China. I mean, all the whole world is basically wanting an inquiry. You know, half of the nations of the world are wanting an inquiry into what's going on. Where did the virus come from? Wuhan, a Wuhan lab, a, a wet market, a bat? No one knows, but we want an investigation. And Australia has spearheaded this investigation. But there's some mysterious kind of deal going on with Dan Andrews. And that's what we're going to talk about on the report from Tiger Mountain. Dictator Dan, ladies and gentlemen, he's the problem. You know, I mean, what the hell is going on with Dictator Dan? I mean, you know, he's gained that reputation for being, you know, um, uh, I guess probably of all the premiers in Australia, the one who's most wanting to lock us down, ruin our economies, which of course is suspicious because that's exactly what Beijing wants. Because, um, you know, obviously with our economy ruined, they can come in and, and do the whole robber baron routine, buy up all Australian assets, maybe, you know, an airline or two, or um, buy up various businesses. And they're already doing that before the uh, coronavirus crisis. So what the hell is going on with this Belt and Road deal? Uh, with Dan Andrews and the state of Victoria. And an interesting thing that happened this week is he, he, he drew the condemnation of the United States of America and Mike Pompeo. Uh, and, he, he, and Mike Pompeo basically said, look, you know, we're going to have to kind of disconnect somewhat from Australia if this deal goes ahead. I mean, basically, I mean, I hope you all realise the only reason Australia has never been invaded by China is because of America. And all the left-wing people on the ABC are all pro-Beijing and everything. They should all know that. As soon as America gives us up, you know what I mean? That's it. China will invade. I mean, I don't know if it would happen the next week, but it would happen within, I'd say, 10 years. China will invade this country, and at least for the very half, they will take over the, the north and maybe leave the bottom half for what, what used to be called Australia. They might Ukraine us, divide us in half, happen, you know, see what happened in Ukraine. But, like, you know, this is a terrible situation. This deal that Daniel Andrews has put together, uh, first of all, it's secret. I mean, who, what kind of Victorian Premier in the history of our country has ever done a secret deal with China? I mean, we know the guy is a kind of Maoist and a kind of Marxist. You know, we know from his radical kind of like you know, gender politics and his radical sexual politics and his radical, you know, other kinds of politics. Dan Andrews has always been suspicious. He's always been very close to that Ros Ward woman. And, you know, they're, they're secret like Maoists, you know, and the very fact that he's done this very weird deal, I think it's absolutely shocking. And I think Australia needs to stand up and say, no, and I think, you know, there will be a movement from Canberra. I mean, surely Scott Morrison's got to be concerned. I mean, if any state premier does a deal that puts basically the special relationship between the United States and Australia, which is the only thing that keeps our nation free, because without that deal, I, I, I mean, we have no, we have... We're not powerful enough to ward off China on our own, I'll tell you that. Without, without the US as our ally, we're certainly not powerful enough to ward off the Chinese army, I'll tell you that much. So, you know, basically it's a question of, is Australia going to be Australia or is Australia going to be China? And Dan Andrews seems to think it should be China. He's got this terrible deal going on this Belt and Road. So we've got to question it. We've got to appeal to ScoMo to, you know, obviously have a private word with Dan Andrews and say, look, mate, this isn't going to fly. And I think, I do think it's probably going to happen. So now's the time to stand up, you know, write to Dan Andrews, write to ScoMo and, um, you know, register your disappointment at this ridiculous deal. I mean, when all the world is moving away from China and basically turning them into the prior state they deserve to be after the coronavirus, Daniel Andrews is doing this fucking deal with them, which is like some kind of like, you know, it's the kind of deal that third world countries do, you know, because they're so poor, like Papua New Guinea, they want some fucking infrastructure. So China comes along, builds this infrastructure, and then China technically owns that infrastructure, because the country can never pay it back. I mean, that's the kind of deal that Daniel Andrews is doing. That's the kind of great secret. And there could be more. We don't know, because it is a secret deal. I mean, the very fact he's done a secret deal with China, it, it borders on treason. So, ladies and gentlemen, I th we say here at the report from Tiger Mountain, ask questions. Ask questions to Daniel Andrews and say no to this fucking deal. And, you know, that's it.